Welcome to the first class about programming. So in this class, we are going to learn how to program. So in this class, I'm going to teach you the, the basics so the way you can understand. So in this case, yeah, I recommend you to go to the playlist and then go one by one, one by one until you watch the demo and then you're going to be able to program anything. So in this case, I'm going to give you an example. What is a programming? So you, let's say that you have your phone with you. So you unlock it and then you are going to see the time or maybe you're going to check uh, Facebook or WhatsApp or maybe you're going to make a phone call, anything. So whatever you do uh, with your phone, with your computer, it could be even a microwave or anything like that is because this has been a program uh, for someone in order to behave in certain way. So let's say that you want to take a picture. Okay, you open the software, you unlock your phone, and then you open the, the software that is for to take pictures, the camera, and then you're going to pr uh, press a button, and then you're going to take the you're going to take the picture, and the picture will be stored on your phone. So that is how it works. So basically, uh, programming is the process of converting ideas into instructions that the computer can understand and can execute. Also, it's very important that uh, the the sequence of the of the of the code. So you can you cannot do uh, things you know backwards or any other uh, order. You have to be in certain order in order to to work. Like I said, if you if you want to take a picture, you're gonna have to unlock your phone. Then you have to open this the software to take a picture, and then you're going to press a photo, and then you're going to capture the the photo. The, the same thing when when you wake up you wake up you you want to uh, dress uh, and then you're going to put you, you know the the socks first and then you're going to put your tennis shoes or anything like that if you want to put your tennis shoes and then your socks <laughs> things are not going to work out uh, properly so here for instance i have a example so that way you understand what uh, i'm saying with another example so let's say that you want to start coding and then you are going to have this option for instance enter a number so you enter any number so the number will be saved in a for instance and then you're going to enter the operation it could be plus um, it could be minus uh, it could be uh, any other operation like a, a multiplier or if you want to divide you know anything here in the in the other step will be enter another number so here we are going to enter another number so the number it will be in this case is the number two is going to be saved in in b the letter b and then we have the result so the result is a plus b equals c so for instance so if you have in this case one plus two equal three so that will be the the result instead of adding you know the multiplier first and then you're going to put the numbers and if you do this if you do this in any other way it will not work for instance let's say if you say okay i'm going to add the multiplier first and then i'm going to stay on number one we are going to put the a letter and then we're going to put the uh, another letter or another number and then you say okay one plus b equals what so you're going to get an, an error in, in that case so basically you have to have a sequence you have to have an order in order to things to, to, to work otherwise things are not going to work if you want to put the, the for instance the the results first and then this later it will not work so that is uh, one a little example so now we are going to see a little bit about a uh, crashes and what is a, a crash in programming and what is a bug in programming Okay, what is a bug? A bug is an error, flaw, or fault in the in a computer program or system that causes it to produce an incorrect or in an unexpected result or behave in an in unintended way. 
Okay, let's talk about uh, what is a bag. So as you, as you can see here on the picture, so we have the picture, the a bag, but this is not a, a real bag. But uh, as you can see, uh, some people will take it like a funny thing, but this um, this is not just a real bag in a, in a circle in a, in an electronic board. So basically, a bag is a, a defect or flaw in the software that will cause uh, to produce an, in, an incorrect or unexpected results. For instance, I, I'm a, a Mac user. I was using a QuickTime to record the, the screen and for instance with High Sierra that is an older operating system and then uh, when I was uh, zooming in, zooming out and, and all the things, uh, I was getting a uh, a pixelated image uh, it wasn't working uh, properly so basically I was getting an unexpected result so if that is the case that is a bug when you when you see it, you will you will know it so what I did is I call up and say hey I have this problem how can we solve it and they say okay let me collect some logs and then uh, we will send it to uh, the developers and they will try to fix it so what they did next uh, time that they released the new operation the newer operating system the the next operating system what they did is they fixed the problem so that way people will not have the, the same issue and you're going to find something like that in many other uh, software now let's let's talk about the other one for instance uh, what is a, a, a crash a for instance, here I have an example. So when the computer crashes, so when the computer crash, you will see that the computer, the software will stop uh, working completely and uh, it will exit or it will restart by itself. Or maybe you have to turn off the computer and turn it back on because there was a big uh, problem. So this is one of the things that you're going to find when you <laughs> when you code. <laughs> so if the if the the software crashes, this is what going to happen or if it's something minor it might be a, a bug like I said before or um, if you are making a, a software for instance let's say you're going to see something like that, that they, okay uh, program X or pro program uh, X Y and Z stop working and then you know you will close it you open it up it again and it should uh, start a uh, running again but those are, those are the things that you may encounter when you are coding so this is something normal nobody's perfect so and in the beginning when you're coding you're going to find maybe few errors I mean in the beginning usually they're going to find maybe few or very little errors because you're going to have just few lines but uh, as soon as you keep uh, coding 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 the software is going to get a bigger bigger and bigger and it's going to be more difficult to um, find the errors or it's going to take you a, a little bit uh, longer than if you have maybe five or six uh, lines for instance here I have a, a picture of a code so that way you you see how it looks like but I'm going to we're going to get into this a uh, little by little so you can understand everything so hopefully you have enjoyed this class and see you in the next one